So the champion stakes is next 10 furlongs this time. So we've got one bend to go around. It's Group 1, of course, Arabian Knight at the top for Padre Hogan. Dr. Deruve for Padre Hogan as well. Johan Vermeer, Leon van Rensburg, Relco, Craig Beckwith, Seabird, Martin Leon, the great Gatsby, Dan Hughes, Thunder Thor, Craig Ann, Vidono for Darren Thompson, Warning, Kevin Minahan, World Class, David Hooney, Awaken at Dawn, Craig Ann, Cottage Pie, and Light My Fire for David Robertson, Nashville, Hunter Vinnie, Gerard Sierra, Success, Leon van Rensburg, Hockham, Dan Hughes, Special Tonic, Craig Beckwith, and Star of Sapendra, and Chicane for Paul Rhodes at the bottom pair, 19 runners in this end. The champion stakes, and just to put that into perspective, only one more runner in tomorrow's Grand National. <laughs> well, there you go. And White Rob White on the track, a couple of them are going to have to try and cut in a little bit. And it's difficult to see which ones they are because their trainers have got more than one horse. But down on this near side, Thunder Thor is the early leader from Warning and Awaken at Dawn. Seabird is close up as well, so too is Hookham. And one of the ones who's, who had a wide draw was world class, and that one has decided to try and tuck in at the back. Dr. Deruve is the current back marker, but it's Craig Allen to the fore at the moment, then with Thunder Thor and Awaken at Dawn. Man of the moment, Baby Robertson's got Cottage Pie on the inside in third. Seabird is next, then Relco and Nashville Hunter Vidono's also up in that leading group. Special Tonic isn't far away either, but they're already coming down towards the final six furlongs in this one. And Thunder Thor is a couple of lengths clear of Cottage Pie on the inside second. Relco up the centre of the track is third, but on that one's outside Vidono. Then Seabird and Special Tonic, Light My Fire, Star of Serpent. Kendra is making a forward move, Arabian Knights nicely placed as well, also trying to come round the outside there is Johan Vermeer, Sierra Success is going to go really wide I think, but it's Thunder Thor who's 2-3 to three clear of Cottage Pie in second, then comes Johan Vermeer who's really really wide on the track, Welko is also losing a bit of ground being wide awake at Dawn on the inside, Seabird is next, but it's Thunder Thor who's in front by a couple of lengths to Cottage Pie, Welko is now on the rail, then comes Awaken at Dawn, Johan Vermeer now making a forward move. Special Tonic looking well, going well as well. Star of Sprender and Holcomb. World Class is trying to get into it. Warning's not out of it either. But it's now Relco who's hit the front with two to go. Relco from Thunder Thor being chased by Johan Vermeer in Arabian Night. And then comes Awaken at Dawn. Cottage Pie is still there as well. But Relco leaves then. Relco's about three quarters of a length up on Thunder Thor in second. Arabian Night getting closer. Johan Vermeer then Cottage Pie. Then comes Holcomb now trying to get going up the centre of the track. He's Light my fire, but it's Relco and Arabian Knight now sweeps to take it up. And Arabian Knight's gonna take it. Arabian Knight's gonna win. Arabian Knight, they win a light my fire. The great Gatsby got it by Awaken at Door. Relco all the way back to Vidono. And one or two of those were beaten by their draw before they even started, to be fair. And Arabian Knight won't care though. Took the um, you take the Eclipse or the Judmont a couple of weeks ago at a ridiculous price, and there's now one taken the. Champion stakes as well. So Arabian Knight takes it for Padre Hogan. Finally, somebody beats David Robertson. Light my fire second. Another big place for David Robertson, though. The great Gatsby for Dan Hughes. Run well in third. Cottage Pie, David Robertson again was fourth. And Awaken at Dawn for Craig Allen was fifth.